Yandere, more like yonder, yay. <laughs> I am sorry about that joke. I left the studio last night at 4 a.m. I'm tired and that's the only joke I got. But I don't really need your love, just want your company. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my song company is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and all the other music things that you listen on. So make sure to buy, stream, and download today because if we get company on the top 50 on the iTunes charts, I'm gonna do episode every single day, back to back, for three weeks straight. Just like we did for Tragic, so keep streaming, y'all. As a matter of fact, I'm about to shout out some people who are streaming. So shout out to I. I. Haley Play. Girl, I see you playing company on Spotify. Thank you. Next up, we got Little Under Underscore Kiara11. I see you streaming. Thank you so much. Keep it up, squad. Then we got fangirl.in.distress. Same. Also, KK Star VIP. Yes, you are VIP. 137. You're streaming as well. I see those teacups. I like those. Where'd you get those from? And last but not least, we've got Jada.Starwood24. Thank you for streaming on SoundCloud. Girl, you the bomb. And don't worry, if you didn't get a shout out here, it's okay because you might get a shout out on my Instagram story too. So make sure to follow that and tag me in your screenshots because you just might see yourself. But now that that self promo is out of the way, I'm ready to get back into my Yandere girlfriend. Actually, she's not our girlfriend because we're kind of scared of her. She's, she, you know what, let's just jump in. Chapter two, what the hell happened? What's with that girl? I know she's pretty and all, and I'm lucky. She's way out of my league. T. I don't even know her, and she already loves me? I think there's something wrong with her. Me too. Me too. I decided to look up Kara's profile. I didn't find any relevant searches. Practically non-existent. No social media profiles at all. Weird for a pretty girl her age. Other girls like her would have flooded their accounts with selfies at the cake shop. I searched census databases and records. None that would have matched her year of birth. Could she have given me a fake name? Maybe she has a boyfriend and didn't want me finding out. Ooh. I hear a knock on the door. As I peek through the keyhole, I saw a familiar face. The man who saved my life. Uh-oh. Good evening. I was in the neighborhood and I thought I should drop by. How's my favorite patient? I'm good, doc. Never been better. Have you been taking the medicine? It is imperative that you do. Of course, doc. That goes without saying. Is there anything wrong? Oh, no, child. Don't be so serious. Nothing's wrong. But I have to admit, I did have a reason for coming here. Uh oh. I was wondering if you'd like to have another shot at flying the Trinemesis. I think you'd be able to pull it off now. Trinemesis? Is that the huge triangle thing? Me. Correct. I thought I was too much of a wuss to pilot that thing. Well, you did just go through a life threatening illness, but I believe your mind is much more capable now. What does the Trinemesis even do? It's a weapon, isn't it? Yes, a weapon. Something that can help us eliminate any and all threats to our world. Things are different now, child. Yeah, I guess they are. Ever since the world was introduced to Proxima B, we knew we had to prepare. What is that? Tri-Nemesis is an amalgam of their technology, powerful enough to save this world. It is the only way. When your sister asked us to analyze your brain, it was then we discovered you were the only viable candidate. We can't force you to use it, however, as it only works when your mind isn't fighting against it. We need you to take this responsibility. I can't. I'm not ready for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, doc. Maybe another time? I understand. As I said, I can't force you, but I know you'll be ready soon. Um, okay. I hope so. My mind wanders as I walk to the Apsir building anxiously. Oof. I had to focus on my presentation, but I just couldn't get Kara out of my head. Why we got a crazy girl in our head? I should drop by the cake shop before the meeting starts. Maybe a talk with her can get my head straightened out. I checked the cake shop. It was open, but there was no sign of her anywhere. Ah, uh, what the hell. I better get to the meeting now. I'll sort out my care thing later. Good afternoon, Mr. Guerrero. Nice to finally meet you in person. Okay, so should we start the meeting now or should we wait for Miss Maya? I'm sorry, I'm not in the best of moods. Don't you watch the news? I'm sorry, I don't. What happened, sir? Miss Maya was found dead in a park not too far from here. Foul play involved. There aren't any leads. Oh, snap, she's dead, y'all. She's really gone. Hold up. Wait. Um, I think I got a suspect in mind. I intend to help local law enforcement as much as I can. That's shocking to hear. I don't know what to say. Say, 
Weren't you having a nice chat with her yesterday? You invited her to go out with you, right? Yeah, but I ain't kill her. Yes, I did, or no, that's not professional. I mean, I did, and if I lie and the police find out, look, I'm not, I did. I see, well, no harm done. She did call me and told me about it right after you left. See, not trying to play detective or anything, but I just can't fathom how something this horrible can happen. I wanna know as much as I can about her last days. Hopefully I'll find something that'll help the investigation along. Have you heard anything about her death, sir? Do I know anything pertinent that might help the case? I'd rather not say. What? Did Maya have any enemies? None. She lived a short and carefree life. Do I know anyone that would have had a motive? Well, I have a hunch. Just a gut feeling, I guess. What time did you come in here yesterday? Around three, around two, around five. Oh, snap. I remember, wait, I came in around three because she said to meet in two hours at five. Smart. Three, what you said doesn't add up. Oh, well, I meant five. Is there something else you're not telling me? No, I just misspoke. I have nothing to do with this. You're utterly suspicious, and that goes without saying. You better tell the truth or I'll- I think I might have met someone who might know something. Really? Who? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Her name is Kara Gittner. I didn't realize it until now. And why do you think she might know? She was jumpy and nervous when I talked to her. She even took me to the park. It just seemed like too much of a coincidence. And you think she might have been involved? I don't know, maybe. I think police should look into her. I'll call the police so they can get your statement. I hope it will. <gasps> did, I hope somebody, I hope somebody screenshot and like got that whole thing screen recorded. Cause did you see her? She just hit him over the head and now it's in my face with a bat or something. Wait. My love, how dare you betray me? Why would you do this? You killed him. Why? He was getting in the way of us being together forever. So did Maya. She tried to steal you from me. Huh? Why would you ruin things? I thought you were the one. Why did you have to betray me? Help! We could have been so happy. Things could have been different. I love you. I'll miss you. Hold up, she- Bad ending. Oh. Okay, so I wasn't trying to leave y'all on that ending. Oof, trash. So I went back and I picked the correct answer. It was 2 p.m. and now we on a different track. Ah, yes, just a few hours later she was gone. Can't believe it. Huh, we were trying to contact you all day. Why does she have such a hard time? I deleted my social media or I lost my phone. I lost my phone, remember? So you lost your phone, you say? Did you find it? Yes. And where did you find it? Left it at the cake shop or left it at home? Um, it was at the cake shop. I apologize if I made you feel like I was interrogating you. I've been on edge all morning and I didn't know who to trust. Uh, wait sir, I have something to say. Condolence to Apsir Inc. or there's this girl Kara. I ain't saying nothing else about Kara cause she almost, she killed us. We'll have the meeting at another time. Take care good sir. The way Mr. Guerrero was staring at me, I doubt he trusts me. Did he really think I had something to do with Maya's death? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I did at one point think Kara was to blame. What's wrong with me? For all I know, Maya could have just been mugged. And then there's a part of me that thinks Kara killed her out of jealousy. To blame a sweet girl like Kara, a girl I hardly know. Ugh, I've been reading too much Yandere stories, me. Hey, sorry I had to bail on you yesterday. I had to do some pest control. P pest control? Yeah, um, mosquitoes. Right, my house had mosquitoes. But yeah, they're all dead now. What the hell? It's like she's trying to sound suspicious. So, to make it up to you, I'm gonna give you a special cake. It's on the house. Y yes sure It's not laced with anything, right? <laughs> uh, I hope she didn't take that the wrong way. It sounded like a joke, right? I hope it did. Very funny. Of course it ain't silly, but it isn't your ordinary cake. It's handmade. I made sure it had all the finest ingredients in the cake world. When you take that first bite, I assure you, it tastes like heaven. Just one bite and you'll go crazy with sweets and flavors swirling in your mouth. A taste so delightful, it sends chills down your spine. Really? It, it's just cake, I mean. Okay, Kara, you really sold this cake well. I'm in, I want this cake ASAP. What am I doing being all worried that this girl is a serial killer? Maybe I'm just a little stressed. Oh no, honey, we saw the bad ending, we know. I think it's best to let my worries go and have a fun chat with this weird girl. 
Kara was being overly nice. Maybe I'm just weirded out because I haven't experienced this kind of attention from a girl before. We take a few selfies together in front of the cake shop. The photos were all cute, almost like a perfect couple. Nice running into you, sir. Mr. Guerrero said he'd like to have the meeting with you tomorrow at two. Look at her, a whole bat. Oh my goodness, she's, that lady was just talking about the meeting and she got a whole bat, I can't. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you, see you there. Who is that girl? Why did she approach you? I need information. Cut it out, Kara. She's an employee at Apsir Inc. Don't worry. That's vague. I need more information. What for? Just a little general cleaning. Uh, you're weirding me out, Kara. Let's go inside and eat that cake. So, do you like it? Oh my god, Kara. This is the best cake in the world. I loved it. Yeah, I knew you would. Listen, about what I said yesterday, basically me confessing my feelings to you, I meant it. And I know this sounds crazy considering we just met, but for the longest time, I felt so empty. For the longest time, I was in a trance, but you made me snap out of it. You're special to me, more than you know. I knew you were the one. I finally found you. The one I've been wanting to spend my whole life with. Um, girl? Kara, why do you even like me? I'm a perpetually single loser, and I got nothing. That doesn't matter at all. I just love you. There, I said it. And in this crumbling world, I want you to be by my side. Oh my God. Bull crap, I'm worthless. I'm way below your standards. Just look at me. I am, I love you. You don't need reasons for that. Can't you love me too, please? Oh, Kara, I don't know you well enough, but despite all this, I wanna know you better. And once I get to know you better, Maybe I'd love you. Shouldn't have said that. You actually said it. Yes. Please let me be your girlfriend and we'll see where this goes. What do you think? Hold up. <laughs> yes or no? I'm scared to say no. We saw what happened. We saw what happened in the bad ending. Girl, I guess you could be my girlfriend. I'm so scared. Um, sure. What am I doing? Did I just agree to be in a relationship with a woman I don't know? A woman who might be insane? I might be the insane one here, but I guess it couldn't be too bad. She is kind of cute, but what am I doing? An hour ago, I was sure she murdered someone. Did I just let my hormones betray my rational thought? Probably, because we're a man. Oh, T. This is the happiest day of my life. Please, please be for real. Don't play with my heart and don't ever leave me. I never thought it would go this way. I'm sorry in advance for what I'm about to do. Do I need to leave? I'm sorry, I love you. What the? Hold up. Did I die again? What happened? Where am I? Did I die? Oh, chapter three. Well, I guess we'll find out. Wow, guys. What do you guys think is gonna happen next? What did she apologize for? Let me know in the comments. I'm scared, she's weird, and now she's our girlfriend. I don't, I don't know. Just, I didn't wanna get killed. But if you enjoyed this video and wanna see part three, the last chapter, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. Let everybody know about this tea. And don't forget to buy, stream, and download my song company so we can get it back up on the charts and get episode every day. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step.